Hello, welcome. So today I want to quickly show you what we did in today's episode. So today we did about three functionalities. The first one we did assigning of teacher uh, class teachers to classes. So when you come to senior one, you click on this class. You can see that now this class, uh, you can assign a teacher. Okay. That is one functionality we did. And the more logical thing is a teacher um, can only be a class chef to one particular class. So for instance, we have this Knox Bear who is a class teacher to senior one. If you go to senior two, we have Tiger Parish. And if you go to senior five, like this class has no class teacher right now. So if we go to senior two, for instance, is already having Tiger Paris. If you try to change this teacher to Keith Anderson, like this one, uh, that means the previous teacher need to be um, removed. So now if you just go back here, now it is Keith Anderson. That means that right now, if I go to senior five, the Nox bear must be the one that is here. So that was really a nice functionality uh, to make sure that a teacher can uh, can only have one uh, be a class teacher to only one class. And if you try to assign uh, a class which would already have a class teacher like this one, and you try to add a to change the teacher to another teacher the old teacher or the old class teacher for this class becomes now available to be assigned to other classes uh, so we did that and then after that we also um, went ahead and changed the subjects so subjects were having their own uh, route and everything and they were linked to a school so right now subjects are narrowed down to a class uh, because different classes can have different courses or they can have different subjects. Therefore, the subjects must be narrowed down to, uh, to the classes. And not to the streams because the streams, they should have the same class teacher. That's why you see the class teacher is here. Uh, then now you just got subjects. Subjects also should have subject teachers. So first thing, we can create a new subject. So for instance, we have mathematics under this. I can just go here, add a new subject. Now we are adding a new subject to senior one. So yes, I go ahead and add, we already have, for instance, mathematics. So let me just add biology. So you can just add biology. This one can be bio something, bio 101. And then let's say bio. And then is this is core and it is both practical and theory and i'm just going to say this is department just want to take department of chemistry so you could create a new department here and then like you just go here and the, you assign a teacher uh you could just say uh, we have tiger paris or keith and uh, so i'm just going to go ahead and add so the subject has been created and you can see it here uh, biology and it has a teacher of kate anderson uh, so if you click on this you can just go in details uh, why you can look at this department category and all the settings that are necessary we haven't implemented the delete and edit functionality but so far we can uh, create subjects and these subjects they will go under that specific class if i go to s2 you see s2 has only biology if you go to s5 it has no subjects yet so we can add subjects to particular classes which is really cool and then uh, automatically when you are creating a class it will assign uh, a teacher okay so right now we are not complicating the this if you wanted you could make sure that the teacher teaches only one subject in a class but that is not the case sometimes you find a teacher is teaching biology and chemistry in senior two so that's why this is possible to have one teacher 
to teach multiple subjects at the same time so yeah that is what we did it looks like really a uh, very nice thing and very small but this was really really not easy to pull off but yeah that's what we did in the today's lesson thank you